Hello friends, in this video today, the video will be about how to disable unwanted background apps in Windows 10 in 2024. Hello, my name is Maki. Welcome to my channel. If you are watching this channel for the first time, I hope that you will click on subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so that you will receive everything new from this channel every week. And do not hesitate to provide us with your comment about this video. So let's start explaining. The first important step is that you must create a system restore point so that if you want to restore the old system, you can restore it through this method. Go to the Windows box and type create a restore point. Here, choose the disk on which the Windows system is available and the option must be on. Then click on create. Try to write something to remember and I wrote a random date. The system restore point has now been created and the system is now protected. Your Windows is now safeguarded. You have the ability to restore it to the current point at any time or recover all alterations made on the device. Now, let's begin with the initial step. Please access the Windows search bar and type background apps. Let's disable these features to conserve PC resources. They may be running in the background without your knowledge. Let's moving on to the second step. Navigate to the Windows search box and type run. In the run dialog box, enter the command gpd.msc. I'll provide the path details in the description of this video for your reference. First, go to Administrative Templates. Then go to Windows Components. Then choose here App Privacy. Then search on Let Windows Apps Run in the Background. Next, select the option to edit. Make this option Enable. In the Default for All Apps section, set it to Force Allow. Finally, click Apply and then OK. Let's proceed to the third step. Navigate to the PC icon and select Settings. Next, locate the option labeled Advanced System Settings. Here, try to choose Settings. Here, navigate to Advanced. Then under Adjust for Best Performance, select Programs. Click Apply and then OK. This option is suitable for both weak and strong devices, as it provides significant enhancements in increasing FPS for programs and games alike. Let's move on to the fourth and final step. Here, we have two programs that can significantly enhance your device's performance, although they require downloading. To support this channel and our efforts in creating this video, there's a nominal fee of $1. This small price reflects the dedication we've invested in producing this content. If you decide to purchase this package, your support would be greatly appreciated as it enables us to produce more videos each week. Now, let's delve into the process of downloading these programs. Upon downloading the package, you'll discover two programs included. After unzipping the file, you'll have access to both of these programs. Downloading the first memory duct is very easy. Simply click Next and follow the straightforward instructions to complete the download. This is the program window. It's incredibly simple. All you need to do is click on Clean Memory. That's it. Your device's performance will improve instantly. Whenever you feel your device is running slow, just click Clean Memory. The second program, Optimizer X, doesn't require installation as it's portable. Simply click on the executable file and it will open instantly for you. Feel free to replicate these optimal settings, which are tailored to enhance your device's performance. Additionally, consider disabling any options that you believe may be contributing to slowing down your device. Congratulations, you've reached the end of this video. To ensure that all the procedures we've implemented take effect correctly, simply restart your computer. 
Download links for the mentioned software and the text used in this video will be provided in the description below. I would like to extend a special thanks to my friend Mehdi for his valuable help in creating this video. You can find a link to his channel in the description to show your support, especially since he's new to YouTube. Thank you all, please watch, and I will see you in the next video next week.